Hey everybody, welcome to How to Profit. It's Jason Edwards here, and today we're going to do a continuation of our last video where we had Levi Shapiti on talking about our rank and rent site that we've been doing as a case study for you guys. Now, if you don't know what rank and rent is, we have a whole series about that on the channel, but it's basically where you rank a site on Google for Denver Plumber, or in our case, we have Katy Concrete. We're trying to rank a city uh, and a niche on Google. And then once we have that website ranking, then we're going to rent that site out to a local business owner that actually does the service. And we'll charge $500, $1,000, $1,500 a month, whatever we can get for the site. So we've been doing a case study all along showing you how we built the site all on high level. If you don't have high level, you can get a uh, trial down with the link below. But we've been building a lot of our sites on high level. And I like that because we can track the phone numbers. We can actually build the site. We can do all of the lead conversions and the forms and all of that stuff all in one dashboard. And it makes it easy for when we do have a client that's renting our site, we can just literally switch the phone number of who gets those calls and it will go to the new business owner that's renting our site. At the end of the day, if they stop paying, they don't want the service anymore, we still own the site, we are in control of it. And then we find another renter that also does concrete in the area and they continue paying us for that, but we maintain control of the asset. And we're going to make a big shift on this channel to a lot more of that type of business model versus having clients. We will have some clients, we have people that pay for our software, but as a whole, we want to develop some assets that we actually control so that we don't have to deal with clients on a day-to-day -day basis. So with that, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you some updates that we did based on Levi's recommendations and some things we found on our own. I'll show you some results we have. We got two leads in the last 24 hours that we've sent out to a business owner trying to get them to uh, become maybe our future tenant in the case of renting our site. So we'll see. So let me share my screen. I'll show you uh, behind the scenes of what's going on here. Okay, so here we are inside of our Google search console just to prove to you that rank and rent sites do work with high level. So we've built this entire site on high level. I guess I should bring up the site as well. So let me do that. So this is the site that we've built on high level. It's, you can see here, please don't call it or fill out the forms because we are actively trying to rent this out, but you can just see this as a concept. So we built this entire thing on high level. And when people call this number, it rings to my cell phone currently, but in the future it will ring to whoever's renting out the site. Same with the forms. These all go into my uh, high level inbox. And then I forward that over to a, a concrete contractor in the area. With that, let me show you our Google search console. And we did some updates based on Levi, who is the SEO expert that we had come on our channel in the last episode. And he told me about some things primarily that I didn't know about, that I had pages that were not indexed, which means that they aren't discoverable on Google. Even though I've sent them, I've submitted them to Google, for whatever reason, they weren't displaying them. So you can see it says 23 not indexed. Still, back uh, when Levi was on, it said 34. But, um, that is not entirely accurate. You can see here, the main thing that we want to deal with is uh, these five pages. But if we look here, some of these, I don't need to rank like Lincoln Bio, Calendar. I think these are just random pages that I need, need to delete. This is one particular one that I had to just resubmit. After chatting with Levi, he showed me that I had about 20 of these that weren't weren't submitted at all or weren't indexed. So I had to go through the process. Basically, I click the site, I click inspect URL, and then I've just submitted this. Looks like it just got approved, but um, if it didn't, I would hit update indexing or request indexing, and then it would process. So looks like this one is now indexed. So other than the pages that weren't indexed, overall, we just needed more pages and more content. So we've been working to add more of that. We've added a lot of service areas. You can see here, uh, these are areas all around Katie that we didn't have pre previously. So basically it's the same kind of page, but this is Cypress Concrete Service. So hopefully we're trying to rank for not only Katie, but the other cities that are around us. And so we're going to be working a lot more on building out even more content on this site. Then you can see just a little bit, a lot of people don't think that high level sites can rank with SEO. So I'm gonna show you that as well. But you can see, if I click on full report here, in the last three months, we've had 100, uh, uh, th I'm sorry, 1,340 impressions. So we'll just look at the trend line here. You can see after we did these recent updates, we've been getting about 
20 to 30 impressions every single day, which is great. If we go back 12 months, you can kind of see the whole journey here. Okay, we started February 7th and getting a little trickle here and there. And then now we've been consistently getting over here about 30. Then clicks, same thing. You can see that we are getting uh, a few clicks a day, sometimes zero, sometimes two, sometimes three. But um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of activity there. So let me take you over to the actual site here. I'm sorry, in our account. And I'll show you a few things that we got. So this is a new lead that we just got, um, and I already submitted this out. I'm not going to give you the contact information, obviously, but you can see that they filled out, uh, they went to Google, so organic, organic search, concrete parking lots. They landed on the form and filled out the form. It says, due to a recent incident of cars crashing into our store, uh, we are looking to install concrete bumpers on the parking lot, parking spots along the front of the building. Can you recommend the size of bumpers we should use, the cost, and if you provide these uh, the service of installation. Thank you. I look forward to hearing from you. So I did uh, call and speak to this lady. You can see the outbound call. I thought the calls were being recorded in our system, but for some reason it was turned off. So unfortunately I don't have that recording, but a uh, very nice lady and I got all of her information. And then I turned that over to a business owner that does concrete in the area. So hopefully that'll convert into a job for them. And then in the future we can rent this site out to them. If not, we'll keep doing this process over and over again. Then we did have another one, same process here. They actually found us just on the main site, Katie Concrete Service, and the little chat widget in the bottom right that we talk about a lot on the channel with High Level, save the day here, and capture their information. He said, I'm interested in repairing the concrete floor. It is uneven. So I reached out to this gentleman. I haven't heard back from him, but as soon as I do, I'm going to warm transfer him over to the same business owner or maybe a different business owner to help him with his concrete issues as well. And with that, I'm going to go back to full screen and just kind of give you a recap here. So basically, we had an SEO expert on our channel last week, and he talked about all the things that we can improve on our rank and rent site. So we went ahead and did those changes, at least a majority of them. We're still going to continue to improve this. We have several of these rank and rent sites that I'm not doing as a public demonstration, but they're starting to rank as well, all built on high level. So high level can definitely build sites that can rank on Google very easily. And now that we're getting leads from those sites, I'm starting the same process over and over again. I have not officially rented out a site yet, but we're very close. I feel like this particular site, the Katie one that we're doing as a public demo, is starting to get um, usually a lead or two a week. And now it's been one in the past two days, so yesterday and today. So hopefully that trend line continues. and We'll have a lot more leads that we can start enticing some of these business owners and then ultimately finding somebody that will rent the site out for a thousand bucks a month, 1500 bucks a month, whatever we can get for it. So uh, hopefully that is of value. I'm going to keep doing these kind of behind the scenes scenarios, showing you what we're doing with high level that doesn't require you actually going out and getting clients. I'm going to start talking a lot more about that on the channel as well. So if that is of value to you, let me know down in the chat below and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.